math and science. In this video, I'd like to show how to add linear expressions. Let's first refresh our memory on what a linear expression is. It's an algebraic expression in which every variable is raised to the first power. Also, when graphed, it creates a straight line. For example, these would be examples of linear expressions. 3m plus 6, 6 minus 5x. Okay. A lot of times you'll see a problem like this. Find the sum of 4x plus 7 and x minus 4. So what we can do to uh, add these two expressions is rewrite as one expression, then combine like terms, and then follow the rules for sign numbers, which are when adding, if the signs are the same, add the numbers and take the signs you are adding. And if they're different, take the difference and take the sign of the larger number. And then when subtracting, just add its opposite. Okay, so let's work uh, a couple examples. Okay, up first, what is the sum of 4x plus 7 and x minus 4? Well, I'm going to rewrite this as one expression. And instead of and, I'm going to put addition, add, and then x minus 4. Okay, now I'm going to put like terms next to each other. So we have 4x plus x plus 7 minus 4. And then I combine like terms. So that's 5x. And then you have two different signs. So take the difference. 7, difference between 7 and 4 is 3. Now, is it a positive or negative 3? Well, 7 is larger than 4. So it would be a negative 3. So it is 5x minus 3. Okay. Now let's move on to the next one. I'm going to rewrite it. Negative 3a plus 4. That is a plus sign. Hard to see. Plus 2 minus a. Put like terms next to each other. Now you don't have to do this. I just think that helps eliminate some mistakes. That's a positive 4 and a positive 2. So now, let's go ahead and combine like terms. So a negative and a negative. You add them and take their sign. So that is 4a. And that is a negative 4a. And then we have a 4 plus a 2. So that will be positive 6. Okay. And finally, I have one in which you distribute. And let me show you what that means. Okay, so now we have, what is the sum of 2x plus 3? What you do when you have a number on the outside of parentheses, you can distribute. In other words, you multiply the 2 times the x. So that will be 2x plus 6, because 2 times 3 is 6, plus 3x minus 2. I'm going to put like terms next to each other. Okay, and then we have a positive 6 and a negative 2. And now we add 2x and 3x is 5x. And the difference between 6 and 2 is 4. And will that be positive or negative? It would be positive because 6 is larger than 2. So there we go, adding linear expression. Thanks for watching. And Moo Moo Math uploads a new math and science video every day. Please subscribe and share.